from the way that billions of neurons interact in the brain to give us consciousness, to epidemic diseases and cascading power failures on power grids, complex systems are everywhere. Complex systems consist of a large number of interacting entities that give rise to collective behaviour, self-organisation and emergence. The demand for complex system scientists is growing for two key reasons. As a society, the systems that we're dealing with are increasing in scale and they're increasing in their level of interconnectivity. And that's leading to a greater importance on understanding the emergent behaviours that we're seeing in these systems. At the University of Sydney, we've put a lot of work into creating the first unique complex systems degree in the Southern Hemisphere. We've designed our program to make it authentic to students' background disciplines, and we encourage them to construct their own learning such that it remains relevant to their background and their current career. People interested in complex systems come from a wide range of backgrounds that include engineering, computer science, maths, physics, biology and finance. Anything with a solid quantitative background. But coming from a background of commerce and science, I wanted to uh, go into something that could bring together both of these diverse areas as well as bring some new techniques and skills into how to analyse problems. The Masters of Complex Systems program uh, provided a, a wide variety of skills, including how to model a range of different systems, how to visualise data and gain insights, and how to uh, track the interaction between different components of these systems. Professionals enrolled in the Master of Complex Systems study a series of core units and electives. They also have the flexibility to tailor their learning to their professional interests with a choice of specialisations in biosecurity, engineering, transport or research methods before undertaking an industry-based capstone project. Our semester-long capstone projects are really important because they give the students an opportunity to study in depth an area that's interesting to them and of relevance to their future career path. A student interested in financial market analysis could look at interaction between equities in a financial market, whereas a student interested in computational biology could look at spatial patterns in the human genome. So I had the opportunity to work with industry representatives at CSIRO on the RoboCup project. RoboCup is a competition in artificial intelligence where two teams try to compete to play a game of soccer. I was able to apply both machine learning as well as an understanding of how the interaction between agents allow an emergence of behaviour. So now that I've completed my masters, I'd like to move into an industry focusing on artificial intelligence and especially a kind of distributed intelligence and the sort of intelligence that emerges from either cooperation or competition between many different agents.